everybody. I just want to give you a quick first thought on DJI's new announcement of the Mavic 2. Uh, it sounds like there's going to be the Nav Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. And I am not, I just don't have it in my budget to be one of the first adopters. I would love to go out and order one of those like this second. The prices actually don't seem that bad. I think the Mavic 2 Pro is like $1450 and the Mavic 2 Zoom is like $1250. Um, so as with all of the stuff that they're putting into these, I think that's actually really reasonable. Um, what I'm really hoping is that it's going to cause the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Air, all of those to shift down a hundred or two hundred dollars more towards my price range and be able to get one of those. But man, I mean, they got a new, um, a new sensor, new camera. The Mavic 2 Zoom has a it's a two times optical zoom and then a two times digital zoom. They're both of them are quieter. They have quieter props. They have less drag. So for up to half an hour um, flight time. And if you have not flown a drone for cinematic purposes, for making videos, for taking pictures, a half an hour is a really long time. Um, like I've got the Phantom 3 standard, which I like a lot. I just wish it was smaller so it was easily more portable and easy to take places. But there's times where, you know, I'm flying it and I've done everything that I wanted to do and then I'm thinking to myself, okay, I've got another 10 minutes of flight time. What am I going to do? And obviously you can do lots of fun stuff, you know, flyovers and stuff like that just to play with it. But half an hour is a long time in the air. And it, those, both of those, the Mavic 2s, will do hyperlapse on board in the camera really cool dji just keeps on pushing it forward and it's to me it's awesome i mean they just keep on pushing the technology further and further so that it's going to be accessible to everyone i mean like with the spark and stuff like that it really is accessible to everyone um, but even content creators you know honestly if every content creator had a mavic pro or a mavic air they'd be super thrilled. So the fact that they're now coming out with the Mavic 2 means that those other things should become more affordable, hopefully soon. So that's my thought. I'm, I, I just don't know how they can put out such quality products at the price point that they do. To me, that's just amazing. So I, I'd say ask questions, but I probably won't have the answers for you. But go look on Mavic's web, or DJI's website and uh, take a look. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.